Okay, so it's an honest. Uh, my name is Permanent Ngoma. I'm the Executive Director for Bloy Progressive Residents Association. Um, in those two days, today and tomorrow, we'll be hosting the National Resident Summit, where we're bringing together all the residents associations that are based in Zimbabwe from different towns, different areas. They're all gathered here in Bulawayo to discuss issues that are affecting residents. These issues include issues of climate change, issues of uh, water and sanitation, issues of devolution. So we'll take those two days to really delve into issues that affect residents and try and come up with collective um, solutions. Um, we also have um, different local authorities uh, who have uh, decided to engage with us and participate in this year's resident summit. It's a different kind of uh, summit this year because we have the pres presence of uh, more than local um, eight uh, local authorities at present. Oh, okay, so for, uh, since you are from Mugulawayo, what are some of the challenges which you have maybe been raised by, by residents so far? The major issue that's affecting Blai is the issue of water. Um, we see some residents uh, going for more than uh, two weeks, more than th three weeks at a time without water coming out of their taps. Um, as residents of Bulawayo, we appreciate the challenge that is brought by climate change. But at the same time, we're saying we're tired of of, of, of getting water from the boreholes. We want um, a situation where we'll be able to get water from inside our, our taps. Ah, okay. Then uh, there is this issue we uh, have seen that um, uh, the Richmond uh, 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 dumping area is uh, on fire, and uh, we understand there is a lot of uh, smoke which is going down to uh, the houses in uh, a country park. What's your take on that? I understand this is, this is also to do with um, uh, the effects of uh, climate change. It's also affecting uh, your own. What can be done maybe to mitigate those uh, issues? Okay. Um... As we look at the growing population of Ubulawayo, our expectation as residents is that the local authority or and the government, okay, mainly the government because they are the ones who manage bulk quarter, to be increasing in terms of our dams, to build more dams that meet the growth, the population growth of Ubulawayo, but that has not been happening. And um, now uh, local authority is, is threatening, uh, decommissioning uh, them and this will further affect um, residents and because it will exacerbate the challenge that is there of uh, availability of water the situation is really bad because as i mentioned that there are some areas that are going for uh, three weeks in a row without receiving water and you find areas that are on the on the on the um, higher side they, they they don't get water at all even if water comes in their neighborhood so residents are really struggling with water and um we have engaged the council to provide um amapo Ama Bowser more frequently than normal because residents are, are are going for prolonged periods of time without access to water in their houses